Biafra Namde Kanoske should be settled politically as chief charge. Hello, great viewers and subscribers. Welcome to my channel. Now, according to the news of today, former chief charge of Anambra State, Peter Umed, has suggested the best option for resolving the case. Namde Kano, leader of indigenous people of Biafra Airport, Umed said Kano's case should best be resolved politically and not legally. Addressing his journalist on Sunday in Abuja, the 2023 presidential candidate of all Progressive Congress Grand Alliance, Avga said Kano's release would end insecurity in the Southeast. According to Med, well, the issue of insecurity in the Southeast, first of all, it has been said before and I agree. For now, it is a serious matter. If it is solved, then that is good. The problem, if it is not solved, then you begin to look for another reason why it is still here. But for now, everybody is saying it and I agree that the issue of Namde Kano should be treated as a political matter, not a legal matter. So if he regains his freedom, perhaps that will be the end of what we are seeing in the Southeast now. Perhaps. Now that I've come to the end of the news, my analysis, what are you seeing in the Southeast? That should be the question. Some of you who call yourself judges from Igbo extraction, some of you who call yourself politicians from Igbo extraction are mad. Namde Khan is not causing insecurity in Biafra land. He has told you that several times. These are a group of people who are criminally minded, created by Nigerian government. You people should stop deceiving yourself. Namde Khan has been set free by court of law. What the hell of political solution you are talking about? By now, he's supposed to be set free. You want to tie him down? Is this what it's all about? Igbos think we are stupid. They should respect themselves and do the right thing. Their son is set free by court of law. I expected them to be asking Nigerian government to set him free immediately instead of saying all sort of jago from pit of hell. This is why I dislike them so much. This is why I will never listen to all their rantings. Such thing cannot happen in Yoruba land when their son was set free by court of law and you have the audacity to stop him from being released. By now, they will be talking about something. This is why even other politicians and Yoruba politicians don't take you serious. To the extent, even your own brothers that call themselves Niger Delta, they no longer take you serious. That is why people like Wiki can betray you. Why even the Fulanese refuse to betray, but Wiki betray you? Why even the Europeans refuse to betray a man you brought up as president? But your own people betrayed you. Is this not a shame? Because they no longer take you serious. They see you as someone who has nothing to offer. They see you as someone who cannot stand by your right. That is just the truth. This is why sometimes when I look at the I laugh. They don't know their job. This is a man who has been set free by court of law. Nigerian government has no right to continue to detain him. This is one year now since he was set free by a court of Nigeria, an appeal court. They continue to keep him in DSS custody. The Buhari left office because Buhari controlled the judiciary. Today, Bola Medriba has come into office. And this is getting to eight months since he became a president of Nigeria, whether by selection or by a letter. But now the Carlos is still in DSS custody. All they do every time is use British envoy to disturb him. Let me tell you something here. If some of you think that Biafra struggle can go down, you are wasting your time. Look, we, some of us are not like all these idiots who are somewhere in Europe making noise. This struggle is going to take another different shape soon. And Nam the Kalo must be set free. It's quite unfortunate that Ayibo leaders no longer know their left and right. All they believe so much is their pocket. And this is why nobody have any respect on them anymore. They see them as men who just need a small porridge of yam instead of to do the nephew. If you don't know it now, Namde Khan is the only leader he was half. That is just the truth. Every other person is a carbon copy. 
That is the fact. And this is why we will never, we will never allow anything wrong to happen to him. We have continued to say, after you claim we don't give you respect, we have allowed you for so many years that he was set free by court of law. But yeah, now if I'm not mistaken, to do the nephew by calling the federal government to list that man that court of law has set free. The same constitution you said you believe in. We have told you that this constitution is forgery. This constitution is fake. Everything about Nigeria is fake. Their president is fake. Their vice is fake. Every damn thing about Nigeria is fake. And more reason why the constitution itself is fake. And this is why they see the presidents don't obey the constitution. That is why they don't give a hook about the constitution they claim that they made. The Nigerians made and you should respect. If not, why do they continue to keep non-decal in custody? Why do they continue to keep so many Biafrans in custody and so many Nigerians that the, that the so-called court of Nigeria has set free? This is what you'll be asking yourself. They don't even have pity for women. A woman, was this Kalisto Konko, was kidnapped for so many years now. She and the husband, they have not set her free. Bring her to court problem. This will tell you the kind of zoo you are and the government you run as Nigerians. And upon that, you have refused to do the nephew. You call yourself an Igbo man, Igbo is that statesman, call yourself an Haneze, call yourself an Igbo politician. Fuck you. Time has come. We have to put the reality the way it is. I don't see anything political solution my food so that you look for a way to frustrate him. He has been set free. He has to be set free. The Apico did not say this political solution there. The, the people said he is set free and he must be free indeed. This is what the court of law said. So what else are you doing? If not because you have something in your cabo. This is why I dislike Bola Metribu so much. A man who claimed all sort of things why he was dragging for presidency. All of a sudden he had become president by Uluru. Now, one former drug lord has refused to do the right thing. What do you expect? And we told you that they will never do the right thing because they are the same. That's what they are, if I'm not mistaken in that uh, proverb. Enough of all this nonsense. Igbo leaders, they call Igbo leaders, should wake up and ask for their son's release. What useless political solution? So that you will do everything possible to make sure you pin him down. He has tried his best to remain in custody without his members or anything he control going after Nigerians or anybody at all. They have remained peaceful. Anything happening in Biafra land is a question of Muhammad Buhari, their former president, the predecessor of Bola Medinibu. That is the truth. He used some, some Igbos who are in desperate to cause havoc in our land. Today they are pretending to, to, to be doing the right thing where I say, we all know who they are and where they are coming from and how they came into this trouble. We are not stupid, but time shall tell. They will be disgraced. I think I have come to the end of this news. The best thing is to set him free what is useless political solution. Jay Biafra.